Welcome back to Orchid Life. Today, we're going to talk about the biggest orchid in the world. So, I was thinking the other day, you know, I love all these monsters. If you've seen the Monster Hunt episodes, you know I love my huge plants. If you've seen Chippy, you know I love monsters. So, yes, I was like, what's the biggest monster orchid out there? What is the biggest orchid in the world? Where does it come from? What does it look like? What does it do? Well, here you go. The biggest orchid in the world, Grammatophyllum speciosum. I need a wand and like a Harry Potter outfit. Grammatophyllum speciosum. Grammatophyllum speciosum. 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 Whatever. Yeah, Grammatophyllum speciosum is the biggest orchid species in the world. It's native to Indonesia, Malaysia, places like that. It grows in the crooks of big, big trees and shoots out multiple pseudobulbs that, you know, cast these big, huge flower spikes. The flower spikes themselves are like 10 feet, three and a half meters, and they'll shoot out about 80 of these four-inch flowers that have like these tiger spots. So sometimes we call like the, the tiger orchid. Um, it's also been called queen of the orchids. Queen of the orchids. We got one we could hit them. Yeah, that's the other thing about this one is that it's supposed to be somewhat medicinal. So they, they found that it's got healing properties that are helpful to heal your wounds. So it's a medicinal orchid, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, the pseudobulbs themselves, the pseudobulbs of this plant are seven and a half meters long. That's 25 feet long with a ray seam that's a flower spike of 10 feet that casts about 80 four inch flowers. The flowers have these tiger-like markings are beautiful to look at. Um, that's why it's sometimes been called the tiger book. It's also been called the sugar cane or because if you look at the pseudobulbs, the, the woven pattern almost looks similar to that of sugar cane, and they're long like that of sugar cane. But the weight on it is massive. These guys have been found in nature several hundred kilograms large. Several hundred kilograms large. That's bigger than me, bigger than me, bigger than both of us taking a hug on a tree. Okay? That Biggest one, I think they said, was um, two tons, but they've been naturally found over a ton of mass growing these giant 25 foot pseudobulbs casting 10 foot spikes with 80 of these four inch flowers. Must be awesome. I want one. I have no space for it, but I, I definitely want one. Um, who wouldn't, right? Who wouldn't? The only downside is it'll bloom once every two to four years. Once every two to four years. Dude. I get upset that my insignias only bloom once a year, but you know it'd be worth it. The blooms hang around for a couple months and just to have the whole thing scrammy. Oh my god, yeah. Sign me up. Sign me up. Who knows? Maybe I'll find one. Okay, if you like what you learned here, go ahead and click the like button. If you didn't, click it anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you've got some stuff and you know, comment. I love learning stuff, so just leave a comment below so that. I can learn what you know, and um, yeah, we can all go together in this community. Thanks so much for watching the show today, Chippy, thanks you. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Love your kids, and happy growing. Thanks so much for watching. What? You can't see it. The, this one, with the front. Oh, you want to go down for watch. Oh, goodness, do you see that? You see what I'm doing there? There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that, and it keeps the plant healthy, and I'll tell you why. But you got to watch the next one. There it is. Nice, big, fat band of flowers. They're quite lovely, aren't they? So, there you go. I don't know the name of this one. I'm sorry, we lost the idea a long time ago, but they're beautiful.